Hello everybody, today you're joining Jazz and I in Buckinghamshire on the fringe of Chalfront St Giles. We're actually at a very special new development today of three exceptionally spacious, architecturally distinctive, net zero biophilic homes where nature is blended seamlessly with the indoors. <laughs> The developer Millbank Homes have done an excellent job at preserving the history of this site while transforming it into a development of three luxury homes. Now each property is on at a different price point ranging from 3.95 million to four and a half million pounds, all of which are listed with Savills. So there'll be more information in the description of the video below if you want to check that out. We're actually in the Chilterns area of outstanding natural beauty today, surrounded by nature, and we're only three miles away from the local train station, which can take you into the center of London in just 30 minutes. Now let's head over to Yarrow House, the show home, and get this tour started. So we're just entering Yarrow House, the show home, through this beautiful dark oak wooden door. And the first thing that you see when you come in through here is the glazing in front of us and this internal garden, constantly reminded of nature when you're in this property. And we've got a lovely blue sky today, which helps loads of natural light through the skylights. Come on this way though, Jazz. We're gonna step up into the main living area. Now this is a beautiful design. The kitchen, which I'm entering just now, has been designed custom built by Watermark Kitchens. It's a mixture of wild oak and the black satin finishes. I think you can see it just in front of me, Jazz. Oh yeah, underneath the island. What do you think of the, the natural design? It's so beautiful and perfectly represents like the outside. Exactly, yeah, very fitting for this property. We've got melee appliances all the way through here, the microwave oven and oven the Bora induction hob. We have an undermounted Blanco sink just here with the instant hot water cooker tap, which is an essential part of most homes nowadays. <laughs> Got the electric fitting just here so you can plug in some bits while you're in the kitchen. And I love this kitchen island. So oh, it's, yeah. a, it's a concrete Caesar stone and it's in a cloudburst design. Really natural vibe. Loving this bench seat as well. Everything in this property has been designed with the outside in mind. Yeah. And so it's so great to have so many picture frame windows. You know, we're in an area of outstanding natural beauty here inside the green belt. And you can certainly see that we've got preserved woodland areas just behind this room. We'll check that out in just a second. Come through here though, Jazz, I've got something to show you. Before we do, we have magnetic track lighting up here. We actually saw some in Jordan and Phoebe's uh, yes. house in Castle Coombe. Yeah. And you can kind of take them out, replace them depending on where you want the light to fall. Mm -hmm. There's a wine cooler just next to Jazz. The cloudburst design continues on this worktop and on the splashback as well. Yeah. Great window there. And if we come through here, Jazz, look. A oh. hidden pantry with oh automatic God. lighting. It's quite big in here as well, actually. It's like a TARDIS. Yeah, good storage. Okay. The pitch of the ceiling through here is really characterful as well. We've got a skylight just above us. So loads of natural light through here. Jazz is just walking tactically alongside the M design fireplace. Super modern design, very warm. We've been getting nice and toasty by that today, haven't we, Jazz? Yes. Do you want to stay there for yeah. a second longer? Okay. Toast it up? Yeah, I do. Yeah? <laughs> I'll stay here. <laughs> okay, so this side is the preserved natural woodland areas that we, we mentioned about. This site actually took the landowner before 40 years applying for planning permission to convert this site, but then took the developer four years. Yes. So because he was specialised in preserving the area. Yeah, eco-friendly homes. Exactly. They were much more inclined to allow him to do this, but we've got the full sliding glass walls along here. Sorry, Jazz. Gonna compromise some of the heat here. Don't worry, I'm backing away. Just so that we can demonstrate. And I love it when it's double aspect, so you have that kind of overhanging section yeah. into the outdoors. So the largest portion of this room is made up of this living space. We've got a nice rug here, so it feels a little bit more cozy. The rest of the flooring is this Tuscan antique style natural stone, really fits the property well. I love it. But yeah, a great space through here to sit, maybe watch some TV. Don't know where you'd put your TV though. Maybe where the mirror is. Yes, probably on there, right? But actually we have a sunken lounge area just through here. So this might be an even better place. It's more of a snug. So I think it would work really well. We've got pocket doors separating the spaces off and the TV on the wall. So there we are. My favorite feature of this snug is this view to the internal garden that we saw. Wow. Got the up lighting on that palm tree. Imagine when that grows and it gets a bit 
larger. It's going to be yeah. even cooler, isn't it? And the flooring through here as well, Jazz, is actually switched again. Now we're on this engineered oak flooring that's actually bang sawn. You can see the details in it here. It's like hand sawn to really fit with that agricultural rural vibe. Yeah, pays homage to what was here originally before yeah. this development. Now on our way back to the hallway, I wanted to stop off quickly at this garden and just show you guys a very tranquil space. And what an incredible way to connect with nature right in the center of your home. Okay, so let's now head back through here. And I want you guys to take a look at the length of this hallway. Like I said, it's an incredibly spacious home, but just look at this. All the way down to the end, we've got LED lighting as a strip there, making everything a lot more interesting. We've also got the low level lighting here, which makes a big difference. A nice ambient glow makes it feel a lot warmer. Definitely. And this is the first toilet of the day, okay? So we've got some nice pink tiles, the black touches as well. Looks nice, it's like the kitchen, the black satin works really nicely. I love the glow of the lighting behind the mirrors. We're gonna see a lot of that throughout today. And it's Viteroy and Bock for most of the sanitary wear. So all of the paints through here actually, a very interesting thing, Jazz, I found out from the developer. The paints are VOC free. So they don't include a lot of harmful chemicals that go into most paints. Yeah. So really fitting the vibe of a very natural and biophilic design, which come at a premium, but if that's what you're concerned with, yeah. That's what you need. That's why it's an EPC rating of A. Yes, very eco-friendly throughout this. Let's go into the principal suite yeah. first, I think. So again, we've got that engineered oak flooring with the bang sawn design. And double doors, Tom. Yes, it gives me almost a, a certain sense of like a Japanese influence yeah. with the flooring, I think. The beds are very nice and low. It's a very tranquil space all the way through the house. Yeah, a lot of different textures going on in here as well, I think. Absolutely, we've got the track lighting up above that real kind of farmland pitch of the roof. Yeah. You know, Cottage. fitting with the design brief. Access out there to a little terrace. Come on through. Again, pocket doors saving the space, but check out this ensuite. Absolutely beautiful. I love the, the handmade herringbone green glossy tiles from Domus. And then we have the Waters Ellipse freestanding bath here with a picture frame window looking out through those woods. Now it's worth noting there isn't another property for hundreds of meters that yeah. way, even further. So very, very private. And we've got the heated set LED lighted mirrors yeah. <laughs> behind the, the sanitary units. Again, Villaroy and Bach on the double sinks. Tom, yeah. sorry to interrupt, but if you hold your finger down on the button, it actually changes uh, how the lights look. So you can yeah. have a warm light, a cold light. Oh, wow. Let's go for a warm light, shall we? Yeah, I like that. Awesome. We've also got the LED strips that side as well. Yeah. Yeah. The tiles on the floor are nice too, leading us into the shower. It's a walk-in shower with the waterfall shower head and the skylights up above. I love that shower so much. It's incredible, isn't it? Really nicely lit in here from all the natural light. Yeah. Spotlights as well though. And then the toilet just around the corner, nice and separate. Back out into the bedroom then. This bedroom actually benefits from a walk-in wardrobe. So a great amount of space and storage for all of your garments and shoes, that type of stuff. Oh, nice. Very essential, I think. It's worth noting as well, we actually have a smart home system. Um, it's a heat miser system, which actually allows individually controlled zones. Yeah. So each room can be a different temperature. Coming out of the principal suite, directly across the corridor, we have another bedroom. There are five bedrooms in total in this property. This is probably one of the smaller bedrooms. I imagine, personally, this could have multiple uses, but I think I'd go for a study in here. Yeah. You've also got the ensuite, just where Jazz is, so it would make a perfect functional workspace, you know, with no distractions. You could just come into the toilet, even have a shower if you wanted. Yeah, why not? <laughs> if you feel that you need to. Okay, let's continue down this corridor then. How about this, Jazz? Oh, I love it. I love how the natural light floods in. You've got so many skylights. Yeah, it's incredible. And because of the landscape, it's kind of tiered. Jazz yeah. is about to go down a couple of steps now. Don't, don't. I actually nearly fell down those, so maybe we'll roll that clip now. Yeah. Don't go backwards in a house tour. Not very relatable advice, but important nonetheless. Anyway, coming through here. Now, this is where the bedrooms get a little bit funky, okay? So we've got great ceiling heights again, skylights coming in, and the track lights, double bed, but check this out. So not only do we have the ensuite, yeah, let's have through a here. First. Similar design to the other one, Villaroyne box, sanitary wear, shower, toilet, all that jazz. Love the black. Yeah, and that is, we'll get to that. Yeah. <laughs> have a look at this, Jazz, do you want to actually pop it with me? Oak wood on the banisters and the dark metal rails, just like we've seen throughout the rest of the materials in the house. But what an incredible spot. So this is part of your bedroom. Can you imagine, as a teenager, yeah. this is your setup. 
it's so incredible. much bigger than I thought it would be. I know, right? You've got all that storage at the back as well. In order to permit for planning permission here, it had to be on one level. Yeah. But you still have these. Yeah. Just goes to show how incredible the ceiling heights are and how spacious this property is. Do you know what was a really interesting point the developer made as well, Tom? Mm. Imagine this bedroom as like kind of like a mezzanine flat in London, how yeah. much it would go for. Yeah. Put in the comments down below, this bedroom only, how much is it in central London? Now, the special thing about this bedroom is that it could be a completely self-contained, almost apartment. So if we come through here, another pocket door, now we're in the boot room. We have another access point to the property here. So you can imagine as a teenager or even maybe an elderly person, yeah. have this self-contained away from the rest of the property. But this boot room is really cool. So we have terracotta tiles on the floor, that brick design, add into the real farmland feel, I think. And then the timber oak panelled walls just here in a really nice mellow blue colour. Yeah, mm. greeny blue. With the oak touches, beautiful sink. And actually there is the dishwasher, sorry, not dishwasher. Ah. The washing machine just behind here. Yes, I believe the floor tiles are actually from Artisan of Devices. Well done, yeah. well remembered. Thanks. So now let's go opposite. We have another bedroom through here, ensuite in here, which we'll check out in just a second. But look at this, and another mezzanine area. Great storage in the cupboard just there, mm. and a reading nook up here. How cool. That's so cool. Now, this bedroom not only has an ensuite, but it has the bath inside this one. And it's a native white ceramic tile all around these bathrooms. Looks really cool. But Jazz, if you pop into the hallway, this one actually acts as a Jack and Jill. How cool, right? So yeah. when you're heading this way, you can come in from the boot room, straight through here, get all clean if you've been out on a muddy walk with a dog, that yeah. type of thing. Very well thought out. Now, another bedroom here, kind of a mirror of this bedroom. No bath in this one though. And another mezzanine area. Got a nice little study spot up there. That's crazy. You actually get some deers in this area. I wish we could see them today for you guys, but how amazing would it be to wake up in this bedroom, look out the window and see some deers. Okay, now we're approaching the end of this corridor. Now this section is actually the silo that you can see from the exterior sort of wrapped in that steel. In keeping with the agricultural history of this site, part of the planning regulations, the restriction was that it had to look like the old farmhouses with yeah. the silo. And this is a really cool cylindrical space where you can sit, read a book with some great views out of there. But also when you're in the kitchen, you can see all the way down here through that window. Yeah. Amazing. And this is a cool little lounge spot. So you've essentially, you've got two different lounges. Mm -hmm. You've got a nice bespoke made kind of media wall here for your yeah. TV. Nice shelving, the LED lights up again. But if you come around the corner, Jazz, you've got this awesome little spot here. Whilst we're here, Tom, out of the window just to the left, you can actually see the... Oh yeah, the silo out yeah. there. Now that we've finished the tour of the show home at Yarrow House, I wanted to take a cozy moment in front of the fireplace to speak to you about the rest of the development. Now to access this private development, there is a remote controlled electric gates and a video entry system for security. The development has a shared garage, so you have two parking spaces within that and then a further two on the outside as well. The garages are also equipped with EV charging points, so like the rest of the development, very forward thinking. Each property is equipped with a Cat6 Wi-Fi gateway for ultra-fast fiber optic broadband. The other two properties on site are currently unfurnished, but I want to talk to you a little bit about them. Architecturally, my favorite design has to be Campion House on a 4.5 million. Inside, we have the double-sided fireplace, and just like this property, massives of structural glazing from IQ Glass. Last of the three properties on this development, we have Blackthorn House. Similar in design architecturally to this property with the steel silo. That one has slightly more square footage and it's on the market at 4.25 million pounds. One of the main features of Blackthorn House has to be the three meter high door on the entrance. It's worth noting that the external bricks on this site have actually been repurposed from Battersea Power Station, really adding to the sustainability of the whole development. I hope you've all enjoyed the tour of this one-of-a-kind development. If you'd like to see more videos like this, let us know down in the comment below. And if you've enjoyed the video, be sure to give us a like. We'll see you in the next video. Oh,